Hey folks, Rob Hernandez, your city manager here, uh, kicking off our very first manager's message. Manager's message is an opportunity for me and my team to communicate with all of you, our 2,600 assistant city managers, as I like to call you. It's important, it's just another tool that we're using to get feedback, get information out to all of you. I'm coming to you from Plant Riverside, the largest private investment development in the city's history. This project, Plant Riverside, promises to change Savannah's waterfront and the city of Savannah forever. This month's theme is all about change. All right, folks, we're back now here at uh, beautiful City Hall. Um, and just like the Plant Riverside project is going to bring dramatic and needed change to Savannah, we too, as an organization, must change to meet the future demands that are expected of us. And so we started that first part of introducing change into the organization as part of the 2017 budget process. And for many of you, you know that, that I literally walked in the door in October and we had to quickly work to put a budget together for city council. And we had to do some things a little different in that we had to cut about $16 million in projected expenditures from our budget in order to meet the budget balance. And many of you know that unlike the federal government, our budget has to balance. We can't spend more than we actually bring in in property tax revenues. So this fiscal year was basically a bridge, a bridge year between the way we've done business and the way in the past and the way that we've got to do business in the future. And so we've already started the fiscal year 2018 budget process. And I know that it's, today's March 1st, um, and it seems a little early in the year to, to do that, but, but again, we've got a lot of work to do. And we've got a lot of work to do to, to rebalance the organization to meet our new future. And that new future is going to be defined to us by our customers, the public, and by our city council. And in order to do that, we um, have embarked upon a formal strategic planning process that began when, um, shortly after I started working here with all of you, um, and we um, created a position of strategic initiatives manager for the city. Some of you have met the, our strategic initiatives manager, Liz Tassero, and Liz's job is to work with the city council and the public um, in creating a long-term vision for this organization moving forward. We've already started that process. That process kicked off with an executive team retreat that we held uh, back in early February with members, with all of our bureau chiefs and many of our directors, where they had a, uh, an opportunity to sit down and basically put themselves in the shoes of our nine city council members. Um, we, um, we identified some initiatives moving forward, um, and that was a very healthy process. Uh, step two in that process kicked off about two weeks ago now, where we brought in our next tier of leaders in the organization over at Savannah Tech, where we talked about strategic planning and change and leadership in the organization um, at a half-day retreat. Our third step in the process is a retreat involving City Council and actually kicking off our formal strategic planning process with our strategic plan consultant. So that is all underway. What does that mean for you? What that means is that City Council again is going to be defining and focusing what lines of business we're going to be involved in. So that means today we're doing certain things that the City Council feels that we should no longer be doing or we should be doing it in a different way. And that could be a product of technological change. For example, you know the internet has changed the way we do business. The public is demanding more and more services to be provided online and we've got to be able to meet those service demands. So it means that we may, be able, we may be doing more business online. It also means that we may be stop doing certain things that we've been doing for years. And I don't know what that is. Um, I'm going to be waiting for city council to, to tell me what those things are. So during a period of intense organizational change that we're about to embark on, and, um, and, and I realize that change is difficult, but change, change is also good. It's an opportunity to look at 
new approaches and to, and, and, and to new things and, and, and new ways of doing business. So don't be afraid of change. But I also understand that we understand here in the city that it's important that we constantly communicate with each other on how we're going to, about, going to go about implementing change. Remember folks, communication is a two-way street. So we're gonna be communicating with you, but at the same time, we also need you to communicate back with us uh, on how proposed changes will affect you, or if you have a better idea of, of doing things, we wanna hear back from you. That's gonna be very important for us going forward during this period of, of change. I promise you, we promise you, my team here in the city manager staff, we are going to keep you informed and engaged during the whole process of changing the organization from the way we've done business in the past and to the way we're going to be doing business in the future. All of you are part of our team. You are all assistant city managers. I'm happy to have you as part of the, the team and I'm looking forward to having all of you engaged and asking questions and being there with us here in the city manager's office as we lead this, inter this organization into the future. Thank you, see you next month.